Well, this is the last thing I have to do before I can get back on the Jeep project. This is my my mother's uh, 300D turbo diesel Mercedes, and we have a big transmission leak here. I think it's the uh, front seal, and to replace the front seals, obviously we have to pull the transmission. So I'm gonna get working on that. Pop in the new O-rings and the seal, oil seal, and. We'll be good to go slap it back in there then I can get back to the Jeep okay I got this thing up on the lift and I've got the transmission out and boy was that a pain in the butt I hope I don't ever have to do it again but one kind of downfall is it looks like we have a rear main seal leak but that involves taking the engine out and partially disassembling to replace that so we're gonna let it leak for now until it gets real bad I have the transmission put on end in a bucket here and what this does it will help me keep my clutch pack aligned when I take the pump out and if it was kind of laying flat you have to spend a lot of time realigning all the clutch sticks and whatnot in the pack so we could slide that pump in so putting it on end like this should save you a lot of time and effort I don't think that bucket's going to be resealable after but that's okay I don't really intend for this video to be a how-to because I don't really know what I'm doing well enough to tell y'all what to do, but I'll tell you how I got this thing out. First I'll start with the, the drive shaft. These Benzes have what's called, I think they call it a flex disc and it's just a rubber disc and you've got three bolts on your drive shaft and three bolts on your uh, rear end or the, in my case, when I took it apart up here, the uh, transmission. And you unbolt those, and it kind of. Here's another, actually, uh, U joint here, but that just slides back and forth, and it also comes out. Didn't know that. And these little sleeves that I use to index it, so don't put it on backwards. This tiny little guy here is your uh, cross member, I guess, for lack of better terms, and. It just goes right here on these little captured clip type speed, no, I don't know what we call those. And those come out and you lower it down, you disconnect your uh, your linkage cable right from the shaft and the transmission. And then this unbolts, it's kind of like this, it unbolts, comes out of the way. Of course you've got your speedometer cable. Um, Another electronic sensor. I don't know what this does. I haven't looked it up. I have to find out sooner or later. You got your vacuum line, and you've got two uh, cooling lines for the feed and the return from the uh, radiator. And those are just a banjo fitting on the sides of the transmission. Should also mention there is a little port, oval port here at the back of the block, and there's a plastic cover that goes in there and that gives you access to the bolts that hold the torque converter onto the flex plate and I was able to take a screwdriver and spin the engine over with the uh, the little uh, nubs on the torque converter. The biggest problem I had was getting the bolts out of the fly uh, bell housing that held on the starter and they use a 10 millimeter Allen head bolt and the bottom one came out fairly easy but it's really hard to get up in there to get onto the upper one and mine was just seized right up and I ended up going from the top taking the uh, the breather off or the air cleaner housing and I put some heat onto the back of the bowl as it stuck out from the uh, starter which was kind of nerve-wracking because everything's all aluminum in there but I heated it up enough and I was able to turn it out but the 10 millimeter allen head wrench or socket wrench that I had was just kind of camming out of here so what I ended up doing is taking a a big Torx bit what is this a uh, T55 which fit pretty well into the uh, 10 millimeter socket, Allen head socket, and I was able to get it out of there. But you can see 
how it deformed the uh, the head of the bolt is here now. I was lucky to um, to get it out of there. Now I can't see the benefit of using the Allen heads over just a regular hex head. So when I put this back together, I'm gonna see if I can get a hex head for this because I make a lot less headaches for whoever to take it out again. Well, I got this thing put back together last night and parked it out here. I know I didn't really film a lot on it, but I really didn't feel like it. It's miserable work. I hate working on this car. I like the car. I hate working on it. Next, I got to figure out why it's leaking antifreeze. And after that, I don't know. I'm sure there'll be some other problems that arise, but it runs and starts good. Should drive good now. Holds transmission fluid.